you been considering purchasing investment properties? Come with me on my journey as purchasing my first one. Being in the real estate industry, I've watched a lot of my colleagues purchase rental properties and have great success. Also, I've watched a lot of my colleagues buy rental properties and have great headaches. So this was always something that was on my radar, but I was always a little bit scared to get into it. Late last year, I decided that this was the time. I'd saved up enough money that would be a wonderful down payment with enough of a cushion so that just in case things exploded and blew up and didn't work out, I'd be protected. So getting pre-approved doesn't have to be as scary as it might sound. The first thing you do is to make a connection with a local lender and they'll explain all of your options. Some lenders have different down payment options that they would have, that they would allow for investment properties. In my experience, I was looking to put at least 20% down. It turns out that it actually would benefit me to put more money down, um, so I ended up doing a 25% down loan program because it would get me a better rate and it would just adjust those payments a little bit. Once your pre-approval process is complete, make sure that you work closely with your realtor to make sure that what your goals and what you're hoping for for rents is realistic in this market. There's a lot of great tools that are available uh, for investors to research things, but the best way is to have an agent that knows what they're doing that can help lead you through the process. Once you've made it to closing, congratulations. Now it's time to work with the municipality just to make sure that you're following all of their rules and proper licenses that are required if you are um, planning on renting the property out. So in my case, my, uh, my home that I purchased is in the city of Lansing and they do have a license that is required. So I went to the city office and uh, wrote in my application, paid my fee, and waited for inspection day. When inspection day arrived, a city employee came, walked through the house with me, gave me a couple of pointers on things that they were gonna call for so I could get started working right away. And then a couple weeks later, I got a letter in the mail with all of them. Now, what he said was gonna be on the list and what I got on the letter were, um, they were a little bit different. So I had a couple of things that were, <laughs> that were not quite done, but I was able to get them all done send everything over to the city and then we're officially good to go. At that point, you can start looking for a tenant or move in whoever you are planning on moving in. That was all back earlier this year. Now here we are at the end of July and I'm so glad that we did it. I'm so glad that we have uh, this property here that is not only a safe and clean home for someone, but also is something that will help us build future wealth as we, as we go through. Um, and we haven't even hit our first tax season with it yet. So if you have any questions about purchasing your first investment property or expanding your portfolio, uh, we would love to help you here at Rooted Real Estate.